Welcome to yet another episode of the Ugandan podcast. I am Rita Kanyamujuni. Definitely a new face for you, but it's still a conversation here that is worth having. I am Rita once again. I had told you that. Now our guest today is Lily Ajarova and the conversation is why visit Uganda. Well, Lily is the Chief Executive Officer of the Uganda Tourism Board. You're most welcome to the Ugandan podcast, Lily. Thank you very much, Rita. Now we'll get straight into it starting with why visit Uganda. Now currently Uganda in 2022 was launched as what we would call a destination and in particular under the theme of uniquely ours, uniquely yours. Now when we have a look at that, what does this mean to the motherland? Thank you very much Rita. Uh destination Uganda is a beautiful destination. We have had the Pearl of Africa as our destination brand for a long time, but not clearly defined to everyone uh, who is in tourism business or even to the different people who actually visit Uganda. So we took on the journey to refresh our destination brand. So January this year, we got His Excellency the President of Uganda to launch explore uganda as our new destination brand why explore uganda the pearl of africa explore because we have the depth the range and the variety of africa in this destination explore because you can we don't have just one thing that you can just visit and go away from this country there's so much to discover there's so much to experience there's so much for you to immerse yourself in and that's why we're saying if you have to know what Uganda has to offer from the tourism perspective then you have to explore it and it is the offer that we are giving to everyone and this is also for Ugandans it has to start with us the Ugandans first so many Ugandans do not know their country so we are encouraging everyone through this brand to explore their own country Uganda it's the pearl of africa there Uganda represents what the continent has from the landscape the diverse culture the precious rare species like the mountain gorillas we where we have 54% of the remaining population of the mountain gorillas in the world in Uganda uh we have uh, 50% of the bird species that this continent has and that's a representation of 11% of what the world has we just have so much the source of the longest river in the world is river nile and the source is in Uganda mm. we have the third highest point on this continent on Renzori mountain where the equator crosses and there is permanent snow on it mm. so the largest fresh water body on the continent like victoria i mean like we have it all we have it all if we go into the wildlife species there are those that are endemic to Uganda. So you can't actually see them anywhere else in the world mm. until you come to Uganda. So there's all this diversity, variety that we need to get to know as Ugandans, but also we are offering this to everyone else outside Uganda. But it's important that we start with ourselves because if we do not appreciate what we actually have, then it becomes difficult for us to brag about it to get the rest of the world to know about it because we don't know what we have so right now um we are running the campaign uniquely ours for the ugandans to embrace what this country has to embrace the beauty that we have and all the resources natural to uh to the culture but also the things that we have created yeah we have very many unique things around that we can brag about and uh, for that we want Ugandans to get to know this um understand it 
appreciate it, enjoy it, but also then be able to make the best use of it. Most important is two things, to enjoy it, but also to make money out of it.